the Rubik's Cube. I always wondered, how does a Rubik's Cube work? I mean, if one side turns, how does it turn again? A different direction. It's weird. So then I remembered that I have a Rubik's Cube, cube that I got from a summer camp. And then I took that apart. And I looked, and then I realized. I never thought this could, this little engineering could fit into this Rubik's Cube. Now, I'm here to show you what goes on in a Rubik's Cube. So, today I'm here to show you a Rubik's Cube and what goes on inside it. There's little engineering. I bet many kids thought, how does this, what? Yeah, so, the, it's not that, it's not that crazy. Let's see what's inside. I've built visual displays in Minecraft, and if that's too hard to see, I also have this visual, that's an actual Rubik's Cube. So... It's actually easy to take apart this kind of Rubik's Cube. I think it's, I'm just tap. I'm just gonna. <sighs> there we go. Now it might be a little hard to see, so I'm gonna go on to Minecraft right now. And so here is my display of a Rubik's Cube. I didn't take too much time making it and making all those creases so you can see the edges of the cubes. But let's go in. I didn't place all the functions of the Rubik's Cube inside here. I just placed the center. And this is what it looks like. And let's go out and look at more examples. So this piece right here is with the six poles sticking the six things sticking out of the edge edges are the center of a Rubik's cube which holds all the four middle center pieces together now there are three types of cubes in a Rubik's cube there is the center piece which are these pieces in the center here I'm sorry I can't take them off because it's a little tricky and I'm afraid that will break this thing because I'm going to put it back together when I'm done with this video. The pieces that go on to the sides of the center piece, which are these pieces right here that have two sides. This, this one has white and yellow and the back of it is curved like that and it fits on and like this and then there is this corner piece there are the most corner pieces I believe in a Rubik's Cube which have three sides to them which are these pieces with three edges and the inside looks that like that three colors like this one has black green and white and it goes on to help stabilize the center the pieces that go on the sides of the center and here's what it would look like without the center without that middle thing oh, like I said over there with in it and it's got all the obsidian which is used to be that black part the black parts that divide the the cubes so it's got the spins of you see right here and then it's got the centerpiece and so it, what happens in a Rubik's Cube is, is, so, um, these pieces, they have these extra little ledges, so that when they're connected, I'm 
let me get this one. They slot these pieces. They slide around on the other parts, or so that you know, slide around on the parts where it lets it. So that means you can put them in circle. You can slide them in circles. You can turn them sideways. Yeah. It's actually pretty cool how a Rubik's Cube works. Pretty cool. So, thanks for watching my video on what's inside of Rubik's Cube and how it works. So, hit that subscribe button, comment if you want to see something else. I'm going to try and figure out something that I can take apart. So, hit the like button. I would like to get more subscribers on whatever channel I'm posting this on. But, thanks for watching. Bye bye. Hehe. <laughs>